what we're experimenting with here is a four coil M-Rod. And I've got one of my 1300 diodes on here and a little tiny one eighth ounce rooster tail. And the reason we're doing this is we're making the trip to Rockbridge for the technical seminar. And I want to be able to bring my M-Rods, of course. I'm not much of a fly fisherman. And I fish with these all over the country, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to try it out for trout. Now this is really about the smallest reel I own. And 1300 Daiwa, uh, that's the equivalent maybe to a 2500 Shimano. It's been a very good performer on the M-Rod as a whole. I've caught a lot of fish on this. Smallmouth bass, musky, northern pike, and saltwater flounder, redfish, trout, snook, you name it. And so the reels are reliable. In this case, we have 10-pound fire line on here. And I believe what I'm going to do is switch this out to 10-pound nanofill because it should be just a hair thinner than this and a lot slicker. It'll probably add a little more distance because trying to throw something like this this light is, is a bit of a challenge. But let's go ahead and make a cast and see what we can do. And that's not bad. It's gone out far enough in string fishing. It would have been fine. It was just a flick of my wrist. And of course, I manually close the bale as I always do, and then we uh, slowly reel it in. But of course, right now, I've got my saltwater leader on here, which is 20 pound test fluorocarbon. But in some ways, that probably helps because the fluorocarbon leader adds a little bit of casting weight compared to uh, as if I was using a monofilament leader. But uh, this may work. Uh, I think what I'll do, though, when I get out to the uh, trout ranch is probably drop to an 8 pound test on my leader material because the water is very, very clear. And from what I've seen, a lot of people are fishing for these trout. And I also intend to try spin bubbles. I have some of those and uh, some flies. So once we get set up out there, we'll go ahead and find out what happens. But today, it's just a test. The M-Rod and the small lures. And of course, this is all being filmed with the Replay XD1080p. And right now I've got it set on 720p at 60 frames per second. And we're here at the waterfront in downtown Palatka, Florida.